what will be the output of the following program a macro definition is given here that is hash define max of x comma y and the definition is a ternary operation that is x greater than y question mark x colon y this indicates if the condition that x is greater than y is true then the result is x or if the condition is false that is x is not greater than y then the result will be y in the main function the variables i j and k are declared as integers and are assigned to values now i is equal to 10 j is equal to 5 and k is equal to 0 next k is equal to max of i plus plus comma plus plus j now the macro max is called here and the arguments that are passed in the macro definition is i plus plus comma plus plus j and then we are printing the values of i j and k now we have to find the output of this program here the macro max is called in its argument we are passing the values of i plus plus and plus plus j now when we increment 10 it will become 11 when it is substituted here and plus plus j will become 6 so 11 when checked if it is greater than 6 11 is greater so the condition is true and thus the first argument x which is 11 will be printed now and the value of j which is 5 was changed to 6 so the value 6 will be printed in the output so i is 11 and j is 6 and the value of k is also 11 now this will be the output of the program let us check if our output is correct this is the program if we compile it we have got zero errors and when we run the program the result is 12 6 11 how did we get 12 as the value of i let us check here the max function is called as follows max of i plus plus comma plus plus j the definition of this macro is x greater than y question mark x colon y now whenever this macro is called within the function the definition will be replaced here so that is i plus plus greater than plus plus j question mark i plus plus colon plus plus j now here the value of i will be incremented to 11 even though it is post increment this is the second step of execution and so now the value of i is incremented and the value of j is 5 now after incrementation it will become 6 now if we compare these two values 11 is greater so the condition is true if the condition is true the first argument will be executed so the value printed will be 11 but after this step the value of i will be incremented again and now it will become 12 so that is why when we print the value of k is 11 i is 12 and j remains as 6 so this is the actual output this is how we are getting the output like this so our answer here is wrong k is equal to 11 i is equal to 12 and j is equal to 6